Hi guys, thank you for clicking on this video. Today I want to talk about privilege, Democrat privilege. How the Democrats are allowed certain freedoms or privileges, but those outside the Democrat party are attacked for the same behavior. For the first example, let's go to President Trump. People, you know, take great pains to protect themselves uh, in the hospital, but this is well, obviously it's sending come. Here a, we go. A, a very different takes it off. An incorrect message. He has no mask, right? He's breathing, walking around, leaves or doesn't leave. And there's a whole bunch of people standing there in the space that he just left. He is, he is likely expelling virus into the air. Outside, you could argue, a lot better than inside, although there were some people close to him even outside. You know, it's hard for me to tell from these images, but there, it looks like there's several people around him. I, 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 just, I just don't get it. I, I, you know, this, is, this breaks every protocol. Now watch Biden cough into his hand and then go over and shake hands with the crowd. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It actually gets worse. Joe Biden spat on a woman live during our show. You can see the moist projectile on your screen right now. It was a spit and run operation. You'll notice the terror in the woman's eyes as the spit comes at her. Now, we don't know this woman's name, this patient zero, if you will, but we would love to hear her story. So she was invited on our show to relive the trauma. Other than Tucker Carlson, the mainstream media was silent on that, right? Now, I know Trump had just gotten over COVID, but according to the CDC guidelines, he was no longer contagious. And he wasn't near anyone when he took the mask off. But apparently... President Trump needs to wear a mask. And so do your kids. Put yeah. the mask on. Yeah. No, you gotta, put, you gotta wear it on. No, honey. no you gotta keep it on. <laughs> put your mask on. There you go. Keep it right there. Yay, Mason. Yay. You put it on, Mason. Look, we're gonna keep it right here. Nope. How bad did you feel for that poor child? How angry did that video just make you? Every time the mask went up, the kid pulled it down. God knows how long this went on for. And in some cases, it's much worse. Have you seen what they're doing to disabled children? Jeff Steele is talking about his family's reaction when his seven-year-old Sophia, who suffers from Down syndrome, came home from Ocean Breeze Elementary School with a mask tied around her head. It was tied around the back of her head underneath her ponytail. He says it was tied so tight, she struggled to talk and even breathe. She could aspirate, she could asphyxiate, all sorts of medical things that could happen as a result of that, which would then be forcing her breathing because of her enlarged tongue, it could also cause seizures. The father says he always assumed Sophia was exempt from the mask mandate because of her disability. Nobody is exempt from wearing a mask, not even our disabled children. Here's Nancy Pelosi reminding us how important it is to wear a mask. Members and staff will be required to wear masks at all times. This is a mask from all over the country. I'm getting these masks. Real men wear masks, and these masks are essentially important. The chair views the failure to wear a mask as a serious breach of decorum. But in any case, uh, I'm a big believer in wearing the mask and not sharing any, shall we say, air uh, unnecessarily. When Nancy Pelosi says you have to wear a mask, you have to wear it. Unless you happen to be Nancy Pelosi. This is footage shot at a Democratic fundraiser yesterday morning in Napa, Napa Valley. That's just north of San Francisco. Nancy Pelosi was there. She's got an estate right nearby. Now, looking at the picture, the first thing you notice about the group is that none of them are wearing masks. The only people there who are wearing masks are their servants. Mask for so long about young people and 
how we're reaching out to young people in the Olympics. Well, young people, we always ask them, how do you want to be reached out to? Pelosi is 81 years old. That's deep in the risk range for coronavirus. She's standing at a crowded event in Napa, which according to the Biden administration's color-coded map of the country, is one of the riskiest places in America for coronavirus transmission. And yet Pelosi is not social distancing. She's not wearing a face shield. She doesn't even have a mask on. Why is that? Well, clearly she understands she's not in danger. And since there are no Republicans present, she has no reason to pretend otherwise. By the way, Tucker's not joking when he says she doesn't have to wear it because there are no Republicans around. Watch Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib actually admit this. Greg has been out at all of our, uh, all of our community meetings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's great. Oh, my bad. Oh, no, oh, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I thought you were like, oh, yeah, he's the one no, unmasked I'm guy. <laughs> I'm just wearing it because I have a Republican tracker. That was the guy in the back. When Republican Senator Rand Paul made a video coming out against the mask mandate, Congresswoman Tlaib attacked him. People are getting sick and dying. He needs to put politics aside and put people first. Start resisting the virus. She was obviously very upset that Rand Paul said you didn't need to wear a mask. She believes in them. Yet here she is the very next day, dancing without a mask at an indoor wedding. Why does Rand Paul have to wear a mask and Rashida Tlaib doesn't? She's a Democrat and he's not. When the Republican governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, lifted the mask mandate, AOC accused him of denying basic science. She tweeted, repealing the mask mandate now endangers so many people. AOC thinks wearing a mask is very important. Unless you happen to be AOC. Here she is at the Met partying indoors without a mask. Have you seen the back? No, we have a message. May I? Oh my God, tax the rich. What a model, AOC. What up? I didn't know you model as well. Wow. Damn. Here she is getting ready for that event. Notice that just like Pelosi, all of her servants are forced to wear a mask. Okay. Is that okay. Okay. North. But it gets worse. Watch her sitting in a crowd without a mask, but then put a mask on just before they start taking pictures. <laughs> Housing is a human right on three. One, two, three. Housing is a human right! Here's Democrat Chuck Schumer attacking the Trump administration for not mandating that you wear a mask. Everyone should wear a face mask. We all know that face masks protect people. They're one of the best ways to stop COVID from spreading. But this administration is ridiculous in its macho view that face masks are the wrong thing to use. I think he's trying to tell us something in this tweet. It looks like Chuck Schumer thinks wearing masks are pretty important, right? Unless you happen to be Chuck Schumer. Here he is a week after making those comments, pulling down his mask so he could chant at a Biden rally like he's in high school. <laughs> And just like Democrat AOC, Chucky forgets to put on his mask before the cameras start rolling, so he has to stop and start over. Now we take Georgia, and then we change the world. Yeah! I'm sorry, can you repeat that, Mr. Schumer? Now we take Georgia, and then we change America. Are the Democrats not the biggest hypocrites you've ever seen? Here's another one. San Francisco Mayor London Breed, 
who also got caught not wearing a mask. San Francisco Mayor London Breed is under fire after video has come to light that shows her maskless, dancing and singing during a live indoor performance by the 90s R&B group Tony Tony Tony. That is Breed there on the left, and her critics are seizing on this, saying that she violated her own health department's masking order, which came out in August, and applies to the vaccinated, like the mayor, and the unvaccinated. Well, she had a good excuse. I got up and started dancing because I was feeling the spirit, and I wasn't thinking about a mask. She wasn't thinking about a mask. That's the third time this mayor got caught defying her own mask mandate. Has anything happened to her? Of course not. She's a Democrat. The last time she got caught was at the French Laundry restaurant. If that name sounds familiar, it's because it's the same place Democrat Governor Gavin Newsom got caught defying his own mask mandate. After tweeting that you need to put your mask on in between bites, Governor Newsom was found at an indoor restaurant dining without a mask. The last example is Washington DC Mayor Democrat Muriel Bowser. She was smart enough to postpone the beginning of her mask mandate until a few hours after her birthday party. But she was dumb enough to get caught defying the mask mandate the very next day when she was photographed attending an indoor wedding without a mask. Is she in trouble? No. She's a Democrat. The bottom line is the Democrats are exempt from the rules they impose on you. It's called Democrat privilege. They want you to wear a mask and will fine you if you don't comply. And this is having a negative effect on our children. And I'm not just talking about when they're in school. They were traveling for the holidays when they were kicked off a plane. And the couple says they were booted because their two-year-old daughter wouldn't put on her mask. Wait, do you want to try putting it on her? Her husband, Earhart, tries to put a mask on the toddler. But in true two-year-old fashion, she isn't having it. <laughs> Why? We're, we're over here holding this mask on her face. I'm sorry, sir. I did you the opportunity. I, and I took that opportunity and I ran with it. You see this? I'm literally covering her face. I've got to, you know. So this was Friday. The family was on a plane from Denver to New Jersey. You saw the father again trying to get his little girl first to put the mask on, then she refused. Then he put the gator on. He covered her face with the mask that he was wearing, had her face covered. The flight attendant asked the family to leave, saying it's a non-compliance issue. How mad did that make you? Watching the father cover his kid's face with his hand. And that still wasn't enough. They still threw the family off the plane. I know you're gonna say, well, it's the FAA, and it is a violation of federal law not to comply, right? Everyone knows when you're on a plane, you must wear a mask. Unless you happen to be a plane full of Texas Democrats fleeing the state to protest voter ID laws. Yesterday, 51 Democrats in the state legislature in Texas left Texas and flew to Washington, D.C. on private jets. They did this in order to deny the Texas legislature a quorum and then they shut it down. They shut down the democratic process in their state. By leaving Texas, they, in other words, violated their sworn duty to represent their voters, and they committed what amounted to an act of, yes, insurrection. Now, you may be wondering, how did all those lawmakers get on that plane? Can you just walk on a plane now? Doesn't that require some form of photo ID, a racist ID card? And by the way, wear their masks. Aren't you required by federal law to wear a mask on an airplane? Six people on that plane had COVID and gave it to others. Was that a super spreader event? All those people huddled in a plane? Of course not. They're Democrats. And for those who say the mask mandate doesn't apply because it was a chartered flight, it does. I have to split this video into multiple parts. There are just too many examples. I didn't forget Obama. He's special. He has so much privilege. He needs his own video. I hope you like this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. It'll motivate me to make more. And I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Well, look at this super spreader photo. This is Amy Coney Barrett's uh, ceremony at the White House. Loads of people sitting very closely together for long periods of time with no masks, most of them. In fact, when they went inside, they were encouraged to take off their masks, even though being inside is more damaging than being outside.